All right, so today I went and purchased all the parts that I need for a RDWC homemade kit. And I've learned how to build this thanks to MedGrow1 here on YouTube. So go ahead and go check out his channel. He has a lot of great information. Um, my, my setup's gonna be a little bit more conservative. Um, starting here, uh, we're going to have a submergible pump, whereas uh, Med Grower One used an inline pump. Um, we're going to be using uh, four inch air discs for all uh, six buckets and one for the control bucket. Uh, we're going to be using an uh, Eco Air Commercial uh, model number seven air pump with uh, valves that will uh, allow us to do these six and maybe six more for a bedroom later on. Um, we have seven buckets, five gallons. Uh, one of them will be the control bucket, so we got a lid for it. And we also got all of these little bucket baskets, six of them. And let me down here. Well, actually, let's go to the hoses here. So we got a one inch supply of black. Uh, make sure it's black or opaque of some color tubing. And on the other side, we have a three fourths inch tubing. Now, I, I've got way more than I will need for this setup, but that's because, um, like I was saying on the air pump, I'm going to set up another six in a bedroom later on. The, the area that it's sitting on is my measured out area for my five by five by six foot grow tent that I'm waiting to arrive. And coming down to these parts, um, these guys through here are the um, one inch brackets that I will be attaching to my buckets. And they go into the one inch tubing. And that will be for my reflow. Uh, I got some L brackets for one inch to go back into the control bucket from my reflow. And we have three fourths. Uh, this will be to feed into the buckets in a waterfall fashion from the pump out of the control bucket. Now unfortunately these guys are not what I wanted. We ideally would only need one of these to sit at the back two buckets from the control and then we would want this piece to be a cross piece but my hardware stores everywhere did not have a cross version of this so I had to make my own by using two of these which means I'm going to have to use a little bit more PVC pipe in between it, but that will act as my cross. Just a little guy right there. Alright, so uh, the first thing I'm probably going to want to do... Uh, oh, I also got this tubing here. This is the air tubing that comes from the air pump into the buckets. Um, and then onto the air discs that sit at the bottom of the buckets. Um, so the next step is we're going to want to take these guys and in between here, I don't know if you can see it, there's two washers. And when we take that washer off, we can use that washer as a measurement to draw on these buckets. And then we'll be using a, a Dremel tool to um, carve out those holes that we've designed with those washers. Uh, that way ensure that we get a nice snug fit um, and we can use the Dremel to make it a little bit bigger if we need to and then uh, we'll put the washers on each side tighten it up and do the same for uh, these guys here on the top portions for our waterfall all right so we'll be back <laughs> 